So when you see this, imagine that that smoke comes down and it's to nothing and you see nothing but smoke to here. That is the reality of what we go into when we're going in on a one flat level. We'll open and close that door to pull the flash back to us. And that's where when we talk about keeping your door closed at night, we have a room down here that's on fire and this would be our hallway. When we open that door, you'll start to see the smoke go to an open environment. We're introducing air, the smoke will go out the top and the air will come in the bottom and you'll see all that. Now, this is about the time that we're going to get cold. Somebody's going to wake up, somebody's going to walk in somewhere and they're going to see a fire. Now they're going to call 911. They're going to go through all those steps. And remember, it's really important to keep in mind that this is the floor. Where we're at is not the floor. It's important for firefighters to see the different stages of fire. Uh, we talk about them in recruit school and in books, but it's very important to see the stages of fire. It's important to see what the combustibles that are inside there do before they light off. Uh, that gives us an indicator of whether we should be in the environment that we're in. We can look at smoke, we can look at fire, we can look at different different variety of things inside to, to, to gauge whether we should be in there or not. You can already see them. See the fire? Oh my God. That's, oh my God. Just, that's the gases that are, that are now combusting. See that? God, open the door. Look at this. Okay, we've opened the door. We're introducing oxygen into the atmosphere. The smoke's going to rush in. The flash is going to occur over the top of our head. You're beautiful. Oh my God. Look at it. It's huge for us because not only are we going in to put out a fire, but we have to make sure that we're safe. We're making sure civilians are safe by doing search and rescue operations inside, and then we want to make sure that we are in safe, at a safe environment, working and coming out safe. You already got ignition on this side, coming all the way over to this side of the room, left to right. We can talk a lot about fire and the things that happen and the different uh, information that we have to have as firefighters, but if you can see it firsthand, it, it, it's a huge benefit, I think, for everybody that goes through. They can kind of understand it a little bit more, and they have the idea when we say, make sure you sleep with your bedroom door closed, make sure you have smoke detectors, because in these first initial stages, that's critical in maintaining safety for civilians as well as for firefighters. I want to come over top of you again. The left side is significant. See that? Look at this. The left side is very significant. Look behind you. Look behind you. It's not very often that it happens when we're there. A lot of times it happens before we get there. And that was one of the things that we talked about here today, too, was the time it takes for you to call 911 and for us to get to an incident, the sooner that you do that, the faster we can get there to make proper arrangements to put this fire out. As we've opened the door, and this is what we need to. This is what gets you when you open the door. If you don't know it properly. Oh my God! This. Hey, it's going to go all the way back to the go all the way back to the door. Yeah. Actually, in the fire, what you're feeling that's getting you is radiant heat. And then you got this that lit on fire down this here. This thing lit off. That was that was the product of that combustion. Okay, shut the door. We got to pull off. That's the instant death right there. Your gear is not going to save you from that. That's how yeah. the guys get killed. Right there. I'm going to roll this thing over. What is that? That's the floor, the floor you took off.